Experience the most challenging race in the world, traveling with the most awarded airline of South America, LAN. Argentina, the sand dunes, the spectacular scenery, the lonely mountain donkeys, the flora, the fauna. For television viewers, journalists and frequent travellers, the daily postcard sent to loved ones is a little piece of heaven. But the contestants have discovered that hell, on the other hand, is not beneath but very much on the surface. The sandy terrain is a constant threat and the slightest bit of wind can be fatal. For the Dakar riders, hell was upon them on Monday. The first desert stage between La Rioja and Fambiala was always going to be difficult, and it proved to be just that. The unbearable weather conditions made it extremely difficult for some of the drivers, leading to several mishaps. Crashes, sand in the engine, navigational and mechanical problems, extreme heat. But in these tough times, help is never far amongst the contestants, and even a few brave spectators are willing to lend a hand. There's a biker who stopped on top of a dune. I moved to the side so I wouldn't run him over and now I'm stuck. And I'm probably stuck for a while now. And some of the drivers don't make it to the bivouac before late and sometimes in bad shape, as we can see with Nanny Roma who was forced to quit the race. It's remarkable how everything can change so fast in this race. On the first day I was on cloud nine, and now two days later I'm out of this race. It's a very sad day for me, but I'm happy that my teammates made it through safely. Argentina, what a country, but only for the holidays.